slave labor camp in Kherson, Ukraine on March 18, 1945. I've been told that my mere existence is a miracle. In fact, my parents called me a quote unquote miracle baby. The story begins in Rovna, Poland, where my father, Connie, was born in 1906. The Nazis invaded in 1939, and anti-Jewish legislation resulted in his expulsion from medical school. In 1941, 15,000 Jews of Rovna were killed. During one of those purges, Connie lost his wife and two daughters. He was left for dead, but rescued by a Catholic family. Chaim fled Rovna and was later captured and taken to a labor camp in Kherson, Ukraine. My mother was also from Rovna, born in 1920. After the Germans invaded Rovna, Chaim and her mother and sister were hidden by a Polish Christian. For a year, they lived in a pit in the ground, emerging only at night. One night, her mother and sister did not come home. She was the only survivor from her family. After unknown events, Hannah found herself in Kherson labor camp as well, where she met Chaim. I was born in the camp three months before the war ended, weighing only five pounds. Somehow, my parents were able to escape from the labor camp with a tiny baby. My parents hid during the day and were on the run at night. They finally came across Allied forces and were processed into a displaced persons camp in Stuttgart, Germany. To support their family, my father taught himself to be a barber and my mother worked as a seamstress. Two years after the war ended, my brother Abe was born in Stuttgart. My younger brother Steve was born in the U.S. in 1955. My parents wanted to come to America. As far as they were concerned, there was nothing for them back in Poland. My parents, Abe, and I arrived in Birmingham in 1950, sponsored by the Jewish community. They couldn't speak a word of English, went to night school to learn the language, but still spoke Yiddish at home. My father, who could speak seven languages and was a former medical student, got a job back in China in a warehouse. Eventually, with help from the Jewish community, he opened Schnipper's Dry Goods on 2nd Avenue in downtown Birmingham. In 1955, the Schnipper family became U.S. citizens. My parents shared very little of their past with their children. In spite of the horrors they endured and survived, they gave us a good upbringing and a warm household, and we were a very tight family. I'm a Holocaust survivor. I survived because of my parents. They can't speak for themselves, so their story is my story. I like this channel in memory of Chaim and Hanushka. Mm -hmm.